Coming to you live from the bottom of the barber shop boxing blog. Um, I'm John Lancaster and my co host, Angel Rivera. And we're going to um, go over a couple of um, boxing fights. Well, the big fight coming up between um, Mayweather and Ortiz. <clears throat> so, September 17th. We have a fight coming up with um, Floyd Money Mayweather against Vicious Victor Ortiz, and I would, how would you, how do you think the fight is going to play out? I said it before, I said it again. I think it's going to be a 12 round uh, decision with uh, Mayweather, but uh, it's going to be an ugly fight because uh, Victor Ortiz is going to bring the Vicious with the thing. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> Alright, but you do think it, it's not going to be an easy fight. A lot of people are saying it's going to be um, an easy fight for um, Mayweather. Uh, it's not. It's going to be an easy fight when, when Mayweather's going to realize that he has to fight in the, in the pocket already. But what I'm saying is going to. Victor Ortiz is going to make it very impossible for Mayweather to, to act like himself. He's going to actually put a pressure on Mayweather. He's gonna bully Mayweather, and I I haven't seen Mayweather get bullied since uh, uh what's his guy's name um Castillo Castillo. So this guy is much younger, much stronger, and much bigger with power. <clears throat> so we're gonna see a different side of Mayweather, but uh, I still think that Mayweather's gonna pull off at the end of the day. Oh, May, I, I would like to add something. Castillo, he could bully a fighter, but Castillo. Was a in on the inside. He was an expert. He, yes, Castillo was a. He was incredible on the inside. Plus, he had the jaw to back him up. You could hit this guy with the kitchen sink, and he just wouldn't go down until the, like the Ricky Hatton days or whatever. But prior, Castillo had an iron chin, and that's something that um, Ortiz hasn't been known for. So if he does, I think if he plays the um, the the Castillo role. He may, um, you know, find out the hard way. He might be better at it with Cast than Castillo because he has the body, he has the frame. Maybe with another four to fighter like him, so vicious and so big. He fought. He always fought smaller guys, uh, less speed. This guy's a southpaw. He got power. He's he's young. He's hungry. That's the main goal here, but uh, I still think that he's gonna make an ugly fight for Mayweather. It's gonna be like another Ricky Hand, but uh, it's gonna be very fun to watch. But I still think, like I said, Mayweather's gonna take it at the end. Well, I also um, think Mayweather will pull it off, but um, in Mayweather's history of fighting southpaw fighters, he's been buzzed by everyone. Chop Chop, Demarcus Coley, Sean Bay Mitchell, Zab Judah and all of these guys have buzzed Mayweather. Just I think just because of the fact that they were um southpaws because Chop Chop, not to um kick dirt on this guy's career, but I don't think that he was the um you know uh a, See you a, gotta understand a, when see we looking at Chop Chop uh Zab Judah uh who else that southpaw that he fought uh and Sean B. Mitchell. Sean B. Mitchell. We're looking at these guys now because we see as they watch the fighters. But at their prime, okay. they was at their peak. Mayweather fought all these guys at their peak and their prime. So you can't you can ex ex exclude them from this. Mayweather, they say that he always had problems with uh, southpaws, but <clears throat> in reality, his 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 trainer didn't want him to fight southpaws. He never said that he can't deal with the southpaw, but he always was try to avoid him as, as best as possible. But at the end of the day, Mayweather is is a conventional fighter. He fights he 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 adjusts to every fighter you ever name of in a matter of two rounds. So that's why he's so good and that's why he's here today and these guys that we just mentioned is not around. But uh like I said Mayweather is 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 a unique fighter. He's a, a perfect I say all around fighter and I can't see Victor Ortiz taking the taking the win because he's 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 
not that he's a, only a southpaw, but he's too stiff. He's strong, okay. stiff, southpaw, and he don't move a lot. He just showed brutal strength, and and that's that's not boxing. Boxing is called boxing for a reason because of the talent of what Mayweather has. So at the end of the day, Mayweather's gonna bring everything to the table. I say Victor Ortiz is still a young boy and uh, he's got a lot to learn. Okay, well, if I have to um, give um, uh, like a bottom line, I would say I think Mayweather is going to um, try to stop Victor Ortiz. Initially, I thought that it would be a 12 round decision, but I think Mayweather may actually try to stop this guy. He might stop him because, like I said before, um, Victor Ortiz got stopped with all the confusion and and the pressure with with um, Madonna. But uh, right. this is a totally different caliber fighter. Right. It's um, not a Madonna. Right. It's not a, a Madonna fight. World. This is right. a sharpshooter fighter with a lot of speed and he has and defense power too. and defense. But we keep mistaking Mayweather for not having power because he has hand problems. I don't see Mayweather having hand plum. That's because back in the days he used to wrap his own hands. And now right. he has a, a good cut corner man, so that's doing his hand wraps right. And he feels he he he, he needs to use a power, he'll use it. But his 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 style itself don't need to knock everybody out. His, he, he looks impressive just the way he is. Right. He, he finishing fighters the way he finishing them and then uh he looks good at it, so um, I'm gonna um, add something now that uh, it's something that you had mentioned um, yesterday. When Berto fought um, Ortiz, it could have went either way. People are judging Ortiz now because of the Berto win. Exactly. If that fight would have never happened, we would have um, right. Ortiz would have been, right been. We would still um, keep him in that old mind frame. Like, yeah, okay, this is the guy the that quit. That he's one of the good fighters that we could put him against, and he's a big, he's right. a big plus but fighter. Now this, check this out. Um, Berto will stand flat-footed in front of someone like he did with Luis Colazo and almost got put out. Mayweather will not stand flat-footed in front of anyone. Yes, he would. To prove a brutal point, he no, would. Hopefully, he doesn't. Now Mayweather, he if can he, if he feels enough. He, well, if, if he's, he's confident, confident, he's not gonna. Um, he's not. Mayweather's not careless. He's not careless. But hold on, let me add this. If Berto could hit Ortiz, Mayweather can hit Ortiz because Mayweather is much more accurate than Berto. He's much more accurate. I mean, he's a, the accurate fighter the in, most in, accurate, in, right. in, in, in boxing now, so he's gonna get hit, trust me. He's gonna get hit to the face. He's gonna determine where to hit him. He's gonna pick shots and trust me, Mayweather is a good, experienced, all-around fighter that that he's, that he's, he's good at picking shots and, and, and determine when to hit you and when not to hit you. If you try right. to, you could, you're gonna think twice before you throw that jab at, at Floyd. Right, he'll make you pay. He'll make you pay, but at the same time, he uses a lot of feints, so you're actually, he confusing a fighter as he's fighting them, thinking he's gonna throw a jab, or he's gonna just fake it, or he's just gonna make you think like he's gonna hit you, but he's not. A, and, and this is where a lot of fighters always think twice about fighting Floyd, as 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 standing toe to toe and and trying to figure him out and and by the time you know it, it's already 12 rounds and he already racked up all the points and yeah, this but is once they're going. in there with them they all say it's a different story they say it's a different world once you oh when i fight mayweather i'm gonna do this do that and the third but they all will admit at the end of the fight once you fight him it's a different world all right we're coming to um the end of this episode um, well, we were speaking about um, Vicious Victor Ortiz's new coverage, his coverage that um, he has now, um, I think it has a good chance of bringing him to a certain point where he's going to fight harder, but as um, the late great Arturo Gatti, rest in peace, coverage can get you there, but it will not always get you across that finish line. Coverage got the Arturo Gatti across the um, finish line with Mickey Ward. But coverage and his strength couldn't cross that finish line with Floyd Mayweather. That's what Victor Ortiz has in his hands. He has coverage. Will it overcome Floyd's skill? I don't think it will. But I think it's going to be um, a pretty interesting fight. But I think I'm going for a... Um, 
Gonna go out on the limb and say a vicious Victor Ortiz getting stopped by Floyd Mayweather by around 11. Um, we have to wrap. This is gonna go on forever. <laughs> like I said before, um, I see it going 12 rounds, and it's gonna be an exciting fight because we have two different styles. We got a a brawler with a boxer, so right. you can't count out Victor Ortiz because. He's a he's a he's a brawler puncher, so right. this is why it's so excited to see this fight. But right. at the end of the day, quality fighters always wins. All right, this has been um, an episode, the first episode of the boxing barbershop blog. This has been <laughs> I could cut that too. I gotta edit that. Well, this has been the um, first episode of barbershop boxing blog. Again, I'm your host, um, John Lancaster at J Lancaster Photos, and my co host is Angel Rivera, the owner of AE Diamond Cuts, 13th Street between 4th and 5th Avenue. Get your hair cut also, it wouldn't hurt you to look handsome. <laughs> Take care. All right, peace. There you go.